Sonia Newland, thank you so much for coming into the station today. Thank you for having me, Nada. I've been running around, if you can't tell. I can't tell. Sonia Newland is the a program assistant at the Center for Innovation for Entrepreneurial Development, right. otherwise known as SEED. SEED. Let's keep it SEED. <laughs> let's keep it simple. <laughs> let's call it SEED. And you're coming off of a fabulous, successful event that just happened last night. Absolutely. And that is the Pitch Slam. It was fantastic. Tell us, what is the Pitch Slam? The Pitch Slam was a business pitch competition. And it was only open to UCSC students. And they were competing for four winning spots. And they won $500 each, each of those four winners. And I'd l- congratulate our four winners. They are Aesthetica, which is a software game. And that was by Spencer Butterfield. Coco's Underarm Potion, which was by Sophia Vermulen. Smart Mix, which was an art and tech connecting service by Alex Price and Alex Ty. And Unity, a bobo milk tea maker by Chase Armour, Erica Lee, and Jeffrey Zhang. Those four teams each won $500. And then we had two honorable mentions because the judges really had a hard time narrowing it down to four. And uh, those honorable mentions are S Connect which is a student entrepreneur connecting service by Rohit Falor, and Sensor, which is a food toxin tester by Rima Eid and Brooks LaBelle. All six of those teams are going to be invited to our invitation-only business design competition for Business Design Showcase in the spring. This will be in the spring yes. quarter? A- yep, April 2016. And that is for serious money. Ah. Well, we can't really talk about money, no. Sonia. This is a non-commercial radio station. Well, but these we, are prizes. Exactly. We're talking about prizes, folks. That's and right. So tell us a little bit about what the pitch slam was. Oh, it was fantastic. So all of our contestants, and we had 30 students participate, representing 18 different business ideas. They had to submit a video, um, no longer than three minutes, to us that was their pitch. And... We screened those. We had to eliminate a few, but uh, we expanded it to 18 instead of 16 teams because they were so good. And these these uh, 18 teams pitched live last night at Pitch Slam in front of a, a capacity audience. And this was at the Merrill Cultural Center? Yes. We had um, at least 100 audience members, not including the 30 students who were our participants. And the audience... And the judges heard the pitches live. The audience got to vote by text and choose uh, their favorite out of each group of four or five pitches. And uh, we took the top two vote getters from each of those groups for our eight finalists. The judges took that in conference, and they decided that one team that didn't get into the finalist needed to win, and they were allowed one save. So they they did their save, and they chose um, three from the eight finalists and one save. So we got our four winners that way. Wonderful. And so tell us a little bit about the pitch slam itself. So you had the three-minute video, but then when the live performance, Oh, right? the live thing was fantastic. Uh, like I said, they, they um, uh, the contest- contestants knew that they could... Um, bring their friends, invite their friends. We we got a big audience because the audience got to vote. And so they got packed the, packed the room, and um, I really handed it to it because it was a very scary thing to get up in front of all those people and do it, and they, they all did marvelous. And uh, the audience really got into it and really loved voting and um, having a good time doing that. Uh, our judges had a fantastic time. My feedback from the judges has been great. So they did their pitches. Uh, we we zipped through them. And uh, then there was a conference. Hold, 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 hold on one second. Sonia Newland, <laughs> who's here from the Center for Innovation and Entrepreneurial Development. Uh, Sonia, tell us quickly, how, how long was the pitch and what did the pitch uh, contain? Uh, so three minutes max. And you had to get across your idea of why this was a good business idea. What what was your business? What was your product or your service? Why would you have people buy this product or service? Um, it was not limited to for profit. It also included nonprofit, and we had a good representation of those. But again, they had to convince 
the audience as if they were getting into an elevator with a venture capitalist. Nice. And uh, they had the time it would take you to get a couple of floors to convince that person to seed fund their business. And that was the concept. Uh, that was the idea. So they were pitching a business idea. And were they then allowed to take questions? No. We didn't have any question and answers. It was just as if you got on an elevator, you had your three minutes, and then you got off. And you just hoped that the idea took root in your venture capitalist mind. Oh, God, that is so awesome. Was it only for graduate students? Or no, for, it was, it was open for to the whole all students. All we, students. We had a really diverse mix of students. We had a diverse, as you can tell from just the winners alone, yeah. a diverse, gr- diverse group of products um, and ideas. And um, we had high-tech, low-tech, non-tech. Uh, <laughs> we had non-profit, for-profit. We had undergraduates. We had graduate students. We had art. We had a real smorgasbord of ideas. And um, our students themselves, we had international, we had U.S. residents, we had um, a great balance of male and female, and we had um, a real diverse mix of ethnic backgrounds. I love it. Entrepreneurship for everybody. So, Sonia, is this the first time that you've done a pitch yes. slam? Yes. Oh, this is the inaugural. This is the inaugural first annual Yay. pitch slam. It's just going to grow from here. It was such a smash success. We're definitely going to keep the ball rolling. Um, and then our um, this is more like a, a good proving ground for the business design competition will come up, up in the spring. Wonderful. And hopefully you'll come back on and we'll talk about that before it happens yeah. so that people can come on. <laughs> um, so we're doing a recap of the pitch slam, but the center seed does more than just pitch slams. You also do a hackathon. Yes, right. And, and the next one, there's one coming up. That's right. Next month. Our third annual uh, Hack UCSC. Um, and that will be Friday through Sunday, January 29 through 31, in the multipurpose room of Colleges 9 and 10 on campus here. Uh, we had over 400 participants last year. Wow. We expect over 600 this year. And it's two and a half days. You can bring your sleeping bag. You can stay the whole time, go and come. Uh, it's $25 per student, any oh, student. Oh, we can't mention oh, costs. Sorry. I'm sorry. Um, but you can go to ciedu and get all the details all there. All the details. Yes. And uh, you will be fed. You will be um, uh, mentored. You don't have to come with a team. You can form a team there. You don't have to be a coder. Everybody's welcome. You can have just an idea. Um, and we'll have different categories of competition. And it will be um, uh, innovation, tech cares, which is social uh, outreach uh, applications, and uh, labor tech uh, for labor solutions. Wow. Yeah. And it's going to be fantastic. Uh, it was fantastic last year. It's going to be even bigger and better this year. Okay, so tell us a little bit about some of the the programming that came out of this hackathon. What if I've, let, let's say somebody's listening and they've never heard Sonia Newland, they've never heard of what a hackathon is. Okay, Can you please so, tell us what is it. It is um, hack being the the colloquial term for hacking out a software application, and so uh, coders come. Uh, designers come and you are trying to develop some kind of a software solution to real world pro- real, real world problems and we provide you with these categories of competition uh, but the innovation category is open to pretty much any kind of an idea that you might have so we're talking uh, online software application mobile device application any kind of application um, that you're going to hack out with your team in two and a half days and um, it's it's just uh, a, a marathon, and uh, it, it, it's a lot of fun. And this is open to both the public and students? It's open to any student, high school, undergraduate, graduate student from any institution. Ah, okay, so you have to be a student. You have to be a student. However, if you're not a student and you want to be involved, you could be a mentor. Ah. And so we're looking for mentors as well. And, uh, again, all that information is at... Uh, well, the best website to go to is hackucse.com, and that is where you can register, and uh, that's where you can find out everything you need to know um, about this event. And uh, we do uh, welcome mentors. We'd love to have mentors. So if you are um, a software developer and you'd like to be involved, we'd love to have you. 
Wonderful. So that's uh, Hack UCSC 2016. This is the third annual UCSC Hackathon, and it's going to be the biggest one yet, I have no doubt. Yes. And it's happening January 29th through the 31st in the multi-purpose room of Colleges 9 and 10, and there will be hundreds of participants. It's a uh, Yep. If you're a geek, this yep. is this is like this is your paradise. <laughs> this is where you want to be <laughs> at the end of January. Believe That's right. me, you will be with your people. That's right. And and y'all get to know each other and really like spend time together and yep. smell each other. And, <laughs> <laughs> and so you can go to hack ucsc.com and get all the information but you can also go to seed c-i-e-d dot u-c-s-c dot e-d-u and that is the Center for Innovation and Entrepreneurial Development that's here at UCSC Sonia Newland you're the program assistant and you've been a part of this organization for quite a while Oh, not really just since February <laughs> oh but you but, but um but the it's because it changed, right? Oh well, yeah, but I've I've uh, uh, been in at UCSC since yeah. February, and oh. uh, I was hired to work for the center. So when you said February fifth, I thought you, <laughs> I thought it was February of two thousand and five. Oh no, no! Oh how funny! No. So you're brand spanking new. I'm brand spanking well, new. Almost, you're in a honeymoon phase. I'm in my honeymoon towards. phase, <laughs> and I'm That's loving it. So funny! So I, I love working here. I love working with the students. The students are great, and. Uh, th- that is what SEED is all about. The SEED is about helping students. We are here to help you with your entrepreneurial ideas. We're here to help you with your, um, you know, if you're a, a coder, we want to help you with that entrepreneurial direction. Um, we are a resource center for uh, not just students, primarily for students, but we're also here for faculty and staff. If you have entrepreneurial ideas, we are here, your resource. And, and graduate students. And graduate students. Yes. All don't students. Let, don't forget That's right. them. That's right. We are, <laughs> they need help. <laughs> we, we are very grateful to be housed in the Division of Graduate Studies, and we receive a lot of support from them. And I'm uh, very grateful to Tyrus Miller for accepting the center and, and backing us. And you do all kinds of things, Sonia. There was a recent panel of uh, alum that had that That's were, right. went on in spite including of, you. <laughs> well, I wasn't going to mention that, but I had the pleasure of being able to sit between two astrophysicists yes. and <laughs> another PhD at the end. Uh, the brain power was magnificent uh, between yes. me and. So we talked to students about our personal experiences of working in startups and, and right. starting our own businesses. Right. And what I thought was interesting was the three PhD graduates that were surrounding me. They they had the intention of working in academia and then realized that academia wasn't really for them and went into uh, the the business entrepreneurial World, right, um, and not not to say that they didn't use what they learned in 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 studying for their PhD. In fact, um, some of them spoke about how they get to really do more than maybe they right. would have done as just researching one specific problem. Right. Well, that panel discussion was specifically for graduate students, and the idea was to talk to. Uh, them uh, from the perspective of being a graduate student alum of UCSC about how their their formerly solely academic pursuit led to an entrepreneurial direction. And um, I loved the fact that um, they were grateful for their graduate studies and how that helped them and prepared them for their entrepreneurial careers. Um, and I thought it was very inspiring. And, and I love that you were there, Nada, to tell people about that you can combine the two disciplines that you can you can do both yeah and i i think also maybe the the aspect that i was able to bring to it is the art the business of being an artist and how important that is yes and that you know art is a wonderful thing and it's a creative and a lot of artists think that they don't have these other skills that you need in business but basically either you get those skills because 
as an artist, you are building your business. It is a business. Yes, it is. And if you can't do it, then you know that you need to find a partner who can do the accounting and the, yes. the business yes. proposal part of the administrative yes. part of, of as an artist, you are the business. That's right. You're yes. the brand. That's and, right. And how are you? Um, yes. How are you working that brand? Exactly. And, and it's a it's a harsh thing. I know there's artists out there that are cringing and thinking, no, you're ruining your your artistic <laughs> inspiration and passion. You're selling out or whatever. But basically, we live in a state in a in a country where um, artists are not funded by the state. We, as artists, if we want to do art, either have patrons or have to have a business. Basically. I love that one of the Pitch Slam contestants um, last night was an artist and a musician. And his business idea was just about that very thing, about how you market yourself as a business artist. And um, it t- Cut out the the middlemen, right? And they're uh, taking money. That's right. And uh, it, it was a great idea. <laughs> yeah. Well, I can't wait to hear about it. <laughs> you can learn all about it at ciied.ucsc.edu because I'm going to put the results and and uh, list everybody that participated oh, in their businesses there. Wonderful, Sonia Newland. So tell us one more time, how can people find out more about both the Pitch Slam and the Hack U- UCSC? You can find all about Seed at ciid. UCSC.edu, including the Pitch Slam results and competitors. And you can find all about the hackathon and register at hackucsc.com. And is there a cap? Should people register now? They if, should. Because it will. Because we will can't fill take up. more than 600 people. And that's it. That's it. Well, it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> but compared to last year, we anticipated. Right, exactly. That's, that's right. It. And if anybody wanted to maybe contact you or the center, they can do that at CIED at UCSC.edu? They sure can. Okay, great. Um, Thank you so much, Sonia, Thank you, for Nada. coming on. I'm so glad that the pitch slam was a success. It was a slamming success. 